Uh, hey, my name is David Corwin. I'm one of the sales directors here at IMES, and I'll be covering a couple of products here with you. Um, first one is the Secure Advantage 6, and this is all uh, with Bright House Financial. The other product is called the Shield, and that's a registered product, and uh, it's known as a RILA in the industry. Uh, it stands for Registered Index Length Annuity. I'll be covering that uh, kind of at a higher level. Um, and uh, of course, that's a registered product. You have to have a Series 6 and 63. And, um, and we'll be talking about that, like I said, just very briefly at the end of this. So let's get to it. All right. So um, Bright House Financial, we all know about Bright House Financial. We've been around. Uh, they've been around forever. Of course, uh, MetLife is, um, is uh, who they used to be. Uh, they they uh, um, have done a tremendous amount of business. Uh, uh, tons of assets. Uh, they um, uh, about 12 billion or so in, in annuity premium on that Shield product I was talking about before. But we all know about Bright House Financial. Certainly a carrier we love to have, and we're thankful that we do have them as a as a company to to offer. And it would be a company I think you'd want to have just for name recognition alone. Uh, so formerly MetLife, uh, as I said. Um, uh, sales of index linked annuities. This was what I talked about before. Uh, they have uh, sold about 12 billion in uh, in annuities on that index link, which is the RILA, the Shield product alone. Uh, like I said, that's a good good product, and we'll talk about that in a second. But getting to the Bright House uh, Secure Advantage Six product, which actually it came out back in February of this past year. And uh, very unique in design, very simple in design, and it's um, it's really meant for growth. I would say it's a it's an indexed annuity on steroids because uh, of the fact that it does have higher cap rates, and, and the fact that they can't renew, they can't change over the the, the six year period is a, is a wonderful wonderful benefit to have. Um, and we'll get to the um, the the actual three pillars of the product: the protection pillar growth pillar and the clarity and protection pillar is where really where I like to start out with um, we, we both know that it's a we all know that it's an FIA product so of course it's not going to have any sort of drop in the market uh, if, if you have any sort of market downturns you're not going to lose your money we, we do know that that's an FIA that's not unique to to this particular product but I just want to highlight the fact that it is an FIA and, and all of your premium is protected and of course the death benefit is is protected as well and um, growth pillar uh, we we know that uh, they had a couple of index accounts the uh, s p 500 as well as a russell 2000 uh, it does have an annual sum and point to point the annual sum is uh, whenever you see the sum strategy whenever i see that it com what comes back to me is monthly point to point and uh, we all know how monthly point to point work it, uh, how that works is uh, there's there's 12 different uh, segments in, 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 the, in a one year time uh, frame in which uh, a, a downturn in the S&P 500 or the indice could absolutely annihilate your overall return. And um, because of the fact there's no cap on the negative, that's the reason why uh, your actual overall return can just be wiped out. This uh, does, does have an annual sum, and it's a six-year strategy. So at the end of the sixth year is where your client get, would get 100% of their of their of their of their growth. Uh, but it does have it's a sum strategy. But there is a cap on the negative. That's what makes it a lot different and a lot better than any sort of summed strategies that I've that I've seen before in the past. Performance lock is something that's available on the point-to-point -point strategy. Which, you know, I always like to go back to this previous slide where uh, you have a, a, a time frame of 2006. If, you, if this product was offered back in 2006, uh, we do know what happened in 2008, 2007, 2008, where the market actually plummeted. Performance lock allows you to, if you sense the client senses that the market's going to go down, well, you can actually just ride uh, or I should say uh, lock it and 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 uh, keep that value throughout the life of the uh, throughout the rest of the, the time frame that's you're very unique I, i've not seen that on any other indexed annuity uh, that that i've marketed before clarity um and just this little you know, kind of talks a little bit about the the fact of a of a six year strategy and and um we even on a one year strategy or two or even like this one a six year strategy we we do know that 
let's say six months into a one-year strategy, we do know that if you were to call the, the company and get the values, you know you're going to get the values from the previous anniversary date. Or if the client unfortunately were to have to happen to pass away, we do know that the death benefit would be the previous contract anniversary. And on a two-year, of course, one year in or whatever, you're not going to get that. This one has the daily difference. And I talked about, I think I may have mentioned this to you before, but it does have the daily difference in that client can get on, on the website and uh, see what their values is or values are on a, on a daily basis. And uh, that's what I really like about that too. So um, clarity, like I said, no annual fees, daily difference, free withdrawals. Um, the other thing on the free withdrawals, <clears throat> it does allow you to take out 10% uh, even on the even within the first year, so well, one week into the to the contract after the contract is issued, you're able to take out 10% of the contract, and uh, it's actually based on the premium amount that goes in. So, let's say an example of 100 grand going in, uh, you're able to take out $10,000 each of those years, and uh, it's just a great planning tool for your life insurance sales and um, any other planning that you might be doing out there. So really the key differentiators of, of this particular product, uh, six years summed uh, with a 10%, uh, uh, minus 10% floor uh, on, the, uh, on the summed strategy, performance lock. And then that daily difference, as I, as I mentioned to you before, you know, that's gonna mirror any of their, any other investment products that they might have, uh, you know, 401k plans, IRAs, things like that. You're able to, to go out and see what your actual balance is. On your contract, I think that's a that's a, a a big difference of any other annuity that I've seen before. Um, so again, um, this particular contract has an annual sum as well as a uh, point to point strategy, and of course, the annual sum one, as I covered before, is the one that acts a little bit like monthly point to point or monthly sum, uh, but it's it's uniquely different in that it does have a cap on the negative, which is ten. And of course, any other monthly point to point that I've ever seen or any other sum strategy that I've ever seen on, on any of the products, there's no cap on the negative, which again, it can de absolutely destroy your overall perform of the performance of the contract. So uh, again, that's a, that's a key feature. Okay, this just goes over uh, and just I wanna highlight the fact that it does not have an 8% cap right now. The actual cap rate is 6.25%. And, um, but this just talks about the annual sum with a cap of eight. Um, and the year number one, obviously the actual indice performs 7%. So you get a 7%, not necessarily a credit, but it goes into the calculation. It goes into the sum, uh, summed rate over that six year period of time. So they just basically bank the 7%. Year number two, the indice performed 4%. You get a 4%. Um, Credit uh, it's not a credit, but it goes into the bank. So obviously we're at 11%. If if everything continues on, we're going to be adding on to the 11%. That year number three it did very very well. Uh, you're looking at a 13% um, performance of the actual indice, but since the cap is eight, you'd have an eight, so on and so forth. That year number four, of course, that's alarming. I'm sure, that's the first thing that came out uh, or stuck out to you when you first saw this slide. Uh, obviously, it had a minus 12% uh, uh, return, but there, since the cap is 10, uh, cap is negative 10, then 10 minus 10 is actually goes into the summed. And uh, going on to the fifth and sixth year, obviously, at the end of the sixth year, you'd have an 18% return. That's not absolutely horrible. I think that's a pretty good thing with the fact of not having any risk of your contract. This is a real life uh, illustration. This is a little bit more true to what you might see. Um, you, obviously, the, if you look at that first year, the, oh, the uh, indice returned 12%, and um, actually 8% uh, 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 cap would be credited there. And uh, you see that interim value, that's the, uh, that's, that's the value I talked about before, where that would be based for, or that, that's the value that's based for uh, or used for your RMDs uh, or a surrender, full surrender. So that, uh, that overall return, the average was 4.64%. Uh, over that six year period of time. Uh, of course, it does have a par strategy as well, the annual sum with a par rate. And uh, currently the cap rate is at 40% right now on that particular strategy. So you can kind of see just doing some simple math here, fifth grade level math uh, of a 6% return, 60% of that. I'm not sure if they do uh, percentages in fifth grade or not. My son is 20, so I'm not really sure if it's been a while since I've, since I've done that. but. Um, 
anyway, uh, or talk to them about what they cover in, in fifth grade. But six uh, percent return obviously would net a three point six percent after the sixty percent par rate is applied, and going on uh, uh, so on and so forth throughout the sixth year, you're at a fifteen point two four percent credit on your money, and it's not quite as good as a summed strategy. Uh, in that previous one where 18% was what the credit was, and this was 15.24%. I've always thought that on indexed annuities, and, and I've, I've, I've thought I've actually seen it where it's actually a fact, where a par strategy, um, regardless of, of what it is, seems to do better than a, than a capped strategy. So again, a par strategy always seems to do better uh, more times than not. In this particular example, it didn't, but more than I've seen, I've been in the business 20, almost 23 years now, and been working with agents, I should have said that at the beginning, working with agents for the past almost 17 years now in indexed annuity sales. So I've seen a lot of things. So um, I think there's some truth to that. So this just talks about the uh, uh, annual sum with a par rate. Uh, you, you can kind of see that the, the green is, is the positive and the, and the blue is, is the negative. Uh, just kind of cool to see where the uh, year number one, if they, you know, issue date, they basically take out a yellow pad and write down what the S&P 500 is at. They don't do that, of course. It's just kind of easier to think of that way. Uh, that thousand is marked uh, or written down, and, and at 365 days later, that thousand sixty would be a six percent return. And uh, year number two is what they start that uh, that year number two at, which is a thousand sixty. And uh, so that year number one, I think that's what was really cool is uh, on the uh, uh, is on the blue, uh, the, the the bottom here, where that thousand, you did have a one percent decline in the actual indice where you're at 990. Well, that 990 is the next year starting point. It's a bad example because that year number two adopt again, but uh, you can kind of see that that 850 on the 365th day of the year number two is where they start year number three at. We all know how this works, but it's just kind of nice to see that. Where's the annual sum with the par rate going on? Uh, this just kind of talks a little bit more about it, gets more into the details of it. Uh, you, you can kind of see, if you look at that adjusted uh, summed performance rate, that's just one sixth. That's that represents the interim value. That's the one that's uh, used for both RMVs and a full surrender. That daily performance value, the, the, and, and the first line here of that 103,600, 103,600, if, if the client were to pass away, that's what would be paid out. And I think that's a that's a, a great point, I think, to, to, to really stay on a little bit in that you take any other indexed annuity contract with a with a with a longer term strategy, either two or uh, well, just use one year for that example. And we talked about before where six months in client passes away. Guess what the beneficiaries get? And this happens a lot. I, I we get a lot of complaints on this. And I, I'm sure an overwhelmingly uh, amount of, of complaints with insurance companies on indexed annuities is based on that, where uh, they don't get what it is on that day. The client dies on December 5th. Well, the contract was issued on June 4th. Well, you got to go back to the June 4th date. And uh, it's, it's just not, it's, it's, it's just, it's hard to explain. Well, this, you don't have to worry about that because um, you have the daily performance value. 103.6, that's what's paid out. Uh, nobody likes to have that story where it's 100 grand. Uh, on, in this particular example, if that's what they put it put the put into the contract, uh, uh, you know, six months later or six, or six months before that. So um, anyway, I just I wanted to highlight that. I think that's a, cre a, a great feature of this particular product, and uh, that's why I really like talking about it. Okay, so annual sum of the par rate uh, is, as I explained before, I, I was in my 17 years of working with agents. And, and on indexed annuities, I, I've always thought that the, a, a par strategy or par rate seems to work out better. And uh, this actually came true for us. Uh, thank you for that. I'm glad I didn't put that in there. It just happened to work out that way. But um, you can see that the average return of uh, 5.71 was realized that 100,000 going in netted 130, uh, 139. My eyes aren't so great. I could use these, but I choose not to at this particular moment. But yeah, 139 grand would be the would be the overall value, and that after that year number six, so uh, it's 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 a it's a little bit better uh, strategy there, better uh, better performance. Okay, so we'll get to point to point here. Uh, so we we understand how annual sum works on this on this product. This one is point to point. So uh, let's use a, a January first. 
of 2021 as a as a point. Well, whatever the S&P 500 closed at that particular day is what I'm sorry is what is recorded. If you want to use that yellow pad story I talked about before, where some some person at the home office, John Smith's contract issued January 1st. They write down what the actual S&P 500 closes at. They go to Yahoo Finance or whatever it is, and they go out and look, and they 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 were they recorded. That's not what happens. I, I realize that, but it's just kind of easier to kind of think of it that way. Somebody writes it down, and then they put in they 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 put they close the door, and then six years later, if that's what if that's the uh, strategy that they that they chose, six years later they pull it out, pull out the the, the yellow pad, and they record what it is, and uh, they take out a calculator. It's a little bit better than a Radio Shack calculator, and uh, they figure out what the difference is. And this has a par strategy, a par stra a par rate to it. So in this particular example, we had 30% growth from the previous six years before that, and there's a par uh, par rate that's applied. So this would be a fifth. Uh, in this, the 30% would 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 net us a 15% uh, performance rate. But I I do want to highlight again, uh, we talked about before the uh, performance lock. And um, there, I don't see an opportunity in, in this particular example of doing a performance lock, but most certainly uh, if you were to look at slides, uh, previous slide where the S&P 500 was going up and down, especially that example I talked about where 2000, and um, we all know what happened in 2007 and 2008, uh, where uh, our market plummeted, I think that's the word I used before, plummeted. Uh, you can uh, take out your, take out your uh, contract and, and and for lack of better words put it on the sideline and while the market plummets and you you wouldn't have uh, again you don't lose money on this I'm not trying to say that you would lose money in this but most certainly you'd lose your overall return which uh, would not be good so um, I just want to highlight again that performance lock which is very unique uh, I've not seen as I said before I've not seen that before and I think that's a great feature to have so this is just that slide talks about the point to point with the par rate uh, 100 grand going in, uh, 115 would be the simple math, of course. Uh, that's with the 50% applied. So this is the point to point with a par rate. And, um, you know, this this one, I, I when I run these, it always seems to work out the best. And uh, I, I like to show this one again. This is the, again, the point to point. We're still on point to point where you have one point to the next point six years later. Uh, this one seems to work out the best in, in this particular one. It did 5.97% return and 141 uh, grand was netted after that, uh, after the six years. And uh, it just seems to work out, like I said, it seems to work out better. Uh, not always, but uh, it, it seems to um, most of the time. So this is one of the last pages of the illustration. It's kind of nice for the client to see. There's a lot, there's a lot of ink on this page. I will, I will admit, but uh, it, it does, it does uh, talk about five different six years time segments of the market and how the various index options would have worked for the, for the client. And uh, I, I like to show this. I like to talk about it. It seems to, it seems to work out pretty good. So here, here are the current cap rates on the actual product. Uh, that I'd like to talk about. Uh, the um, it does have three different bands: 50 to 9, 50 to 999 cap rates 5.5, six percent on uh, purchases of 100,000 to 499, and then 6.25 percent. And I'm just closely be talking about the S&P 500 index. 6.25 uh, percent is the cap rate for for uh, purchases over 500,000. Of course, you have the annual sum of the par rate. And that's 35%, 45%, and 50%. And then you have the par rates on the point to point at 30, 40, and 45. And those aren't too bad, actually. I haven't, I haven't seen um, as I've this product came out in February of 2020. Uh, and um, I, I really they haven't gone down a whole lot as compared to other products. And let, let's just talk about too the the and I think I may have forgot to mention this to you before is that when you have a longer term strategy that allows the insurance company a larger options budget and that just allows you to do that and i i will tell you too jumping back here as i've worked with a lot of agents over the past 17 years the number one complaint i get and i talk to a lot of other people i work with is um the the renewal caps when when you write a, a uh, i'm not going to talk about a company but if, if if you if you write uh any other company out there uh 
you you have cap rates that uh, don't exactly renew anywhere close to what they were when you first bought it, and that results in in client um, that is not exactly happy with, with what's going on. This one doesn't have that. So again, I talked about this before a little bit. Maybe I didn't talk about it enough, but renewal caps uh, are not existent on this product. So you you what you get 6.25 percent of that's a half a million dollars going in on the on the on the end. S&P 500 index. That's what it is each and every year. So I think I, I, I really like that in that you don't have to worry about a client complaint. Um, and then, uh, all right, so let's get to, um, let me go back here. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. I'm not going to show every slide here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Shield product with, uh, with Bright House. That is a, like I said, it's a registered product. Uh, it, I've, heard of a, I've heard it called a buffered annuity. And the buffer just represents the fact that the company, well, Bright House, will buffer or, in their case, shield any, uh, not any, but uh, a certain amount of loss in the product. And it comes in both a six and a three-year version. Now, I, like I said, I've been in the business 23 years. I used to sell a, a, a lot of variable annuities when I was with Prudential back in the, the late 90s. So I've had a lot of experience with, um, with um, variable annuities and indexed annuities and pretty much all annuities. And uh, I, I, um, I, I do like the fact that this is a, a short-term contract, which I'm a huge fan of, and it does have a buffer. So, um, and I'll get to the rate sheet here in a second, but just, you know, talking a little bit about it here, um, average investor has outperformed or underperformed the, mar the broader market by 4.24% over the past 20 years. I think that's a key fact right there. For the average investor, you know, they're out there buying and selling different things and they they've underperformed uh by 4.25 i'm sorry 4.2 percent over the past 20 years um and that's pretty much it i'll, I'll just uh kind of stop there a little bit i'd like to show you the rates on the product okay guys so this is the uh, cap rate sheet on the six-year contract six-year shield it comes in a three-year version as well but um i'll just talk about the six-year and um, I mean, just look at that. I, I always like to highlight the, the one year strategy, which is called the Shield 10. And speaking of the S&P 500, you have a 17% cap. I mean, have you seen that before? I mean, that's a, on an index UL, you might see that, but uh, I, on an annuity contract, I haven't seen, I've never seen that before, but as a 17% cap with a 10% buffer, that just means that if the, if the market goes down 10%, uh, you would get a zero. And I think that's terrific. Um, if you had a minus 12, you'd get a 2% minus. If you had a minus 20, you'd have a 10%. You get the math there. But to couple that with the fact of having a 17% cap uh, on the S&P 500 for any sort of gains is remarkable. And I think it's a great, great product. So with that, uh, I just want to tell you thank you very much for, for joining me on this. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, we appreciate your business here at IMS. I appreciate everything you do. And um, thank you very much. Bye-bye.